Corona Cartel, the leading living sire of stakes winners presents the fourth fastest on day one, Houdini. After starting in the first of 14 trials on day one, it might be said that Houdini escaped with a qualifying spot. Not that he didn't deserve it. Houdini was beaten just a nose in the Remington Park Futurity and missed the rainbow by two 100s. It took a $50,000 supplement to make him eligible for the All-American Trials. They're running in a beautiful break. Houdini shows speed into the Far Side Dynasty edition. Eagles Prey is in between runners, followed up by Ms. Special Perry. Houdini, Houdini in front. Houdini down at the rails. Victory Horizon coming on. Ms. Special Perry, center of the course. Eagles Prey and then the Far Side Dynasty edition, but Houdini is gone. Houdini wins just over two. The time of 21-23 looked good, but trainer Luis Villafranco was very concerned. I told my brother, I said, I think we're going to be okay, but uh, after I see the second trial, you know, with the 21-19, I went to worry about it because I thought it's going to get faster. We just sweat all day, you know. Houdini is by Valiant Hero out of pure Oklahoma and is a homebred of the late Ellen Kennedy. She told me before she died, no worry about anything. She said, my son, He's going to keep it running these horses like I was here today. So, you know, I'm glad that her son, he volunteered and, and take her business and went on with it, you know. But Alan Kennedy wasn't all that sure about paying yet another big supplement. After we didn't call a flight for the rainbow, he was kind of upset a little bit and asked me that I was going to run in the constellation. And I said, no, we're going to wait for the All-American. He said, that's another 50000 I said, yeah. I said, he will pay you back. And payback starts now for Houdini, out of the trap and into the money.